Hey everyone, Coach Tanner here. Today we're going to be breaking down how to dominate with Genji. I have a ton of great tips for you today, so let's get right into it. First, I want to talk to you guys about the Game Leap website for Overwatch 2. It's releasing this month with step-by-step -step courses and strategies for just about every hero. We'll make sure that it's way better and way more in-depth than anything out there on YouTube. So make sure you pre-order your sub right now at 50% off by clicking the link below. Before we get into it, we're going to be talking about some basic information so you guys can get a good idea of how this guide's going to go. First, let's talk about Genji's double jump. You should almost always be spamming double jump whenever you're fighting enemies. It gives you a ton of vertical distance, it allows you to peek over certain objects and farm much safer than you normally would. You can also use this during fights to throw off your enemy's aim super easily. You always want to be jumping around and hopping above the enemy's heads whenever you're in a fight with them. You can combine Genji's double jump with his wall climb as well to make a really effective way to throw off the enemy's aim. If you climb above somebody, hop over their head, they're not going to be able to hit you at all and you're just going to get some free damage while looking down onto them. Next up, Genji's shurikens deal 29 damage each. This means that if you hit all three with a right click, you're going to be doing 87 damage. Now combine this with a melee and that is almost half the health bar of any DPS hero. And even though it is unlikely, if you manage to hit all three three shurikens on the head combined with a melee that will actually deal over 200 damage so it will insta kill any DPS or support hero that isn't Reaper. Now up next, Genji's dash is the best tool in his whole kit. Mastery of his dash will be what separates amazing Genji players from just all right ones. Dealing 50 damage and sending you through any target you hit, the dash is going to be your main tool of engagement and escape. Knowing when and where to dash is going to be crucial in your time playing Genji and we're going to be covering that in this guide so make sure you stay tuned. Genji's deflect, while being only 2 seconds, can be extremely powerful if used in the right hands. What you're able to do is send back any projectile towards its sender and if you're good enough you can even deflect certain ultimates like Zarya grab and May's ultimate. Most of the time though you're going to be using your deflect in short bursts so that you can force enemies to stop shooting at you and then start dealing damage to them first or waiting for your cooldown so that you can escape. It's usually not reliable to use Genji's deflect as a damage source as whenever people see you deflecting they're gonna stop shooting at you pretty quickly and if they don't stop shooting at you then try and abuse that person as much as possible. And lastly we have his ultimate. Dragon Blade gives you a 30% movement speed bonus with a 6 second duration. You will normally be able to get 7 swings out of it but if you learn to animation cancel with his dash you can get up to 9 swings out. And this brings us to our first tip, which is animation cancelling. Animation cancelling is a simple strategy where you cancel the initial animations of throwing your shurikens or slashing with your dragon blade with a dash or a melee. To do this, it's really just as simple as pressing your dash button as soon as you slash with your blade so that it does the initial 120 damage and immediately afterwards you're dashing through them dealing 50 more damage. Then you can turn around and swing once more to finish the off and lead into another dash towards another enemy. This is why it's crucial the way you position yourself after your dash. If you dash behind an enemy and you line yourself up towards another squishy enemy, your second dash to finish them off can easily hit another enemy, thus doubling down on the damage of your dash, allowing you to get even more swings out of your blade. Animation cancelling can also be done in the form of a melee, where you use your right click or even your left click to throw out some shurikens and then immediately melee after. This should almost always be used after you're dashing behind an enemy, you should immediately turn around and then right click and melee. This is if you're not using your blade. There are also some custom games out there that you should be looking for for Genji Ultimate practice. In these, you'll be able to use your ultimate and dash through multiple different enemies, allowing you to figure out how you can easily dash through the entire enemy team at a moment's notice. Now my second tip is that you should always be farming your ult, literally as much as you possibly can. This means that before a fight, during fights, and after fights, you need to be spamming as many shurikens as possible. Your ultimate is one of the strongest tools in your entire kit and it can easily turn around a team fight if you manage to farm it during one. Now farming your ult can be super easy against heroes like Roadhog where all you have to do is just spam your right click from a medium range to get free damage in. Another tip is using your left click from long ranges. Think about it like Zenyatta's right click, where you want to spam it down a long range corridor 
that is tiny so that enemies are kind of forced to walk into it. This can give you some really easy damage just from spamming randomly. Now, Genji's ult can be kind of intimidating to use, but it's really not that bad. There is a short startup with the ultimate of about one second, and it leaves you very vulnerable as well as calling out the exact position of where you are. One thing some people might not know is that his ultimate actually resets his dash's cooldown. This is why you'll see a lot of Genji players dashing into the air whenever they're about to ult, and this is to usually get them out of possible danger while still being above enemies. Not only that, but if you have an Ana on your team or a Zarya, it gives them a much easier target to use their utility on. So, whenever you're about to use your ultimate, dashing above a group of enemies will be a really easy way to just drop straight onto them and start slashing and dashing. Another great usage for this cooldown reset can be to dash into a lone enemy and then immediately alt behind him, getting only one slash and one dash off before you kill them, instead of having to slash into them and then get a second slash off to finish them. Now, Genshi's deflect might be one of the hardest pieces of his kit to actually extract value from. A lot of the time, Genjis are used to just holding deflect for the full two seconds and then just backing away awkwardly as nobody even shoots them. If you find yourself staring at an enemy that's not actually shooting at you while you're holding deflect in front of you, you just want to cancel that as quickly as possible and get that big burst of damage in with your right click. You can just push right up to the enemy's face with your deflect out, immediately cancel it, hit that right click and dash through them, and you're almost guaranteed to get a kill from this. The final tip that I have for you guys is you need to commit to isolated targets. For example, if you see a soldier on the high ground and no one is up there with him, make sure you just dash into him with your right click and try and finish him off as quickly as possible. Genji really excels in these 1v1 situations against other DPS characters, and your confidence is going to be the determining factor in those fights, because if you win that 1v1, then you have your dash reset as an escape. But if you're not confident, then it might take you too long to actually get the kill, and the enemy healer will show up and save his life. And that's why being as quick as possible with Genji is really, really important. You need to get in there, secure the kill, and then get out as fast as possible. Some other tips that could use an honorable mention are use your right click and melee combo literally as much as you can whenever you are up close. Your left click should really barely be used and only used to farm your ultimate from a long distance. Your right click has a lot more consistency from mid to short range, and you should always be using it whenever possible instead of your left click. And that concludes all of the tips that I have for you guys. Make sure that if I missed anything or you guys have any tips for me, please comment below. I'd love to hear them. With all that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video. Just one thing, real quick. We are launching the GameLeap website for Overwatch 2 this month with step-by-step -step courses and strategies for every single hero. We'll make sure that it's way better and way more in-depth than anything out there on YouTube. Make sure you pre-order your sub right now at 50% off by clicking the link below.